Hi guys, it's Eileen. Welcome back to my channel, Hustle and Slow. It has been a while since I've done any videos, and the reason is because I'm actually pregnant. I'm about halfway through my pregnancy, and those first few months are just a lot. So I'm in survival mode, and I did not do a lot of videos. I think I did one the whole time, um, but now I'm back. Um, I got a baby bump here. You probably can't see it, but I'm back. So if I sound out of breath, it's because my lung capacity isn't as good as it was before, but I did want to get back into doing more regular videos. So we are going to do a haul today. I know in the past I really did a lot more like formal videos, like specific tips or what you can sell, but I thought some casual videos might be fun to do as well. And I went to a couple of thrift stores this weekend and, and two thrift stores I went to this weekend actually had fill a bag sales. So the first one was $3 for a big paper bag, like you can see here. And then the other one was $5 for um, a smaller plastic bag like you can see here. So I just thought I would show you everything that I got. Since over the last two or so years I haven't been doing a lot of reselling, I'm really getting back into it now and I wanted to share kind of the stuff I'm picking up. A lot of the stuff in these bags I don't even remember what I got because the first sale was just crazy. There were so many people and I swear people were just like stuffing things in their bags so it was really crowded and hard to kind of look things up and make decisions. So I didn't, I don't remember what I got. And so when we go through these bags, it'll be a surprise, but at only $3 and $5 a bag, as long as I find, as long as I have a couple of things that I can sell for 25, 30, or even $40, then it is more than worth it. So I just thought I would go through what I got with you and I'll try to find um, sold comps for some of them and put them right here. So you can kind of see what these things are selling for. Some things may not sell for a lot. Some things I grabbed because I was like, oh, I can try selling this maybe. Um, it was kind of like a, one of those things where I'm going to fill the bag anyway, so I might as well try that. And some things I might lot up. So I'm just going to start going through everything. Um, so the first one I'm going to do is I got two bags for $3 each. So I got this big bag and then I got this big bag right here. Um, and these were at two like more local thrift stores. They weren't Goodwill. Um, and I just happened to show up on the days where they were going to do fill bag sale, which is really cool. Um, so I'm just going to start going. So I paid $6 for everything in these two bags. So I'm going to go pretty quickly so this doesn't take too long. Um, I know this first thing because this is the last thing I grabbed because it was on the rack still. And I checked it for flaws because I thought it was weird that it was still on the rack. But it is an Eileen Fisher sweater. Um, I kind of want to keep it for myself because it looks really cozy. And it's nice and stretchy. So it'll go over my um, pregnant belly. But they were asking $5 for it. It didn't sell. I don't see any flaws. So between $6 for this... These for between between $6 for these two bags, um, this will more than cover that as long as it sells. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think I'm just gonna have to make piles everywhere, huh? Okay, let me keep going through this. This one is just like a vintage hoodie, but I don't know, 90s vintage is kind of going right now. Um, it's super soft and cozy. Um, so I was gonna see if I could sell it as just kind of like a vintage hoodie. I don't know a lot about 90s-ish vintage. So I figured it was a good time to try it out. They were selling this for $6. This next one is a pair of pants. And I do like to pick up plus size pants. Uh, I feel like they sell pretty well. The brand is Sejor. <laughs> Hold on, I can't. The brand is Sejor. Don't, I'm butchering that. Um, it's the Curvy Fit and it's a size 16. And these are just like black dress pants. I think I did look these up in the store and they seemed worth giving a try. Um, this is a Lucky Brand embroidered hoodie. I'm actually finding that I'm not too disappointed in what I got. Um, I don't know if Lucky Brand hoodies do that well, but it's a brand I recognize and this one's really pretty with embroidery on it, so that's not too bad. I don't see the tag for how much they're asking for it, so I'm not sure. Um, this is a, what is this? Some sort of black Hoodie. Oh, it's a North Face hoodie. So North Face hoodie. They were asking eight fifty for it. It says Patagonia on the tag, but this is obviously North Face, um, and it's like a fleece hoodie. It does have some like pilling and needs to be lint rolled, but that'll work. Um, I also got some shoes. Um, these are what are they? What's this brand called? Oh no, why can't I find it? I can't, oh, I can't even pronounce this, Atrex, A-E-T-R-E-X, um, it's like a comfort brand I think, 
So we'll see how these sell. Um, they're not in great, great condition, but they're in decent condition. Um, these are some Bruno Magli shoes. I don't even honestly know this brand at all. I don't know why I grabbed them. We'll see if they sell for anything. Um, these are some adult native shoes. They're pretty dirty and I was going to see if I could like throw them in the washer or something. I don't know if adult natives go for very much, but um, people really love kids natives, so I just grabbed them anyway. I think they might even be my size, so if they don't sell, I can wear them. Um, I got a pair of Calvin Klein flats. Um, I pretty much just got these because they're in pretty good condition and um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Not my favorite shoe brand to sell, but and then these are a pair of Lane Bryant flats. Let's see what else. I put some stuff on my lap so I'm not making all this noise with the bag. Alright. And then I just got a pair of plus size Levi's, women's Levi's. Um, usually I can sell them, depending on like the style, I can sell them for like 15 to 20. Um, so I grabbed those. And then some Body by Victoria Bridget Fit, like, work pants. And some J. Jill Wherever Collection Refined Woven Trousers. So work pants, shoes, some other stuff. So I paid $3 for everything that I just showed you. So that's not too bad. Even if only half of it is worth selling, $3. All right, so let's go into this next bag right here. Pretty full. I rolled everything. They're like, you were really good at fitting everything in there. And I'm like, yeah. I want to get as much as I could. So um, this first thing is an Adidas zip up jacket. It has like, you can barely see it, but it has like floral, a floral design on the blue. And then this is a Croft and Barrow quick dry shirt. I actually got this to see if my husband wanted it for like when we go hiking, if he wants to like cover up his arms, but not be hot. This is a wool rich sweater. It's not 100% wool. It's 85% wool and 15% nylon, but I figured I'd give it a try. Um, so there's that. At this point I'm in the men's section um, because I couldn't find anything else in the women's section. This is a Brigade, Brigade Quartermasters. It says the Wooly Pulley Sweater. It's 100% pure new wool made in England and it has like these elbow patches. I think I did look up comps on this and it might sell for maybe 30 or so. I don't know. They were asking 14. All right, what else do we have in here? This is just a polka dot White House black, black Market top. Um, some stuff that might not sell for more than like 15 or $20, I might just throw in a thread up box. Um, and some stuff that's just not gonna sell at all, I'm just gonna throw in like a yard sale, so. Um, okay, this is another White House Black Market top. This is a dress, I think. This is Maggie's Functional Organics, Fair Labor, Fair Labor Certified. It's 100% certified organic cotton. I didn't look it up, but anything organic cotton I like to pick up. Um, so we'll see if that has any resale value or not. This is a So Slimming by Chico's dress. Um, I don't pick up a ton of Chico's. I see it everywhere, but I do pick up some Chico's that I think might sell. Like this black dress might sell. Um, this is a Athleta Girl. So it's a girl's Athleta jacket. This is another Chico's. I'll pick up like jacket type things sometimes or anything with like a design on it. Um, but not like the plain stuff because that stuff doesn't really sell very well. And then here is another Chico's. This is like a knit blazer type situation. And the last thing is Citron Santa Monica. I remember this sold well years ago when I used to find it when I lived in California, but I don't know if it still sells, but it's like a what is this? linen and silk blazer. So we'll see. I don't know if this still sells well, but we'll find out. So again, $3 for everything I just listed there. So total of six dollars is what I've spent so far on all of that and I think I actually did better than I thought I did. I thought I grabbed a lot more stuff that was iffy but I think at least half of this will sell pretty well. So let's go on to the bags. I got three of these size bags. They're just like regular grocery bags um, and they're five dollars each and I remember that a lot of this is going to be Tommy Bahama. There was a lot of Tommy Bahama in there 
and I don't know that it sells well individually, but I thought I could lot it up by size or style to kind of get a higher average price per order. So we'll see. Um, this is a Tommy Bahama 100% Pima Cotton, um, what is it called? Polo. And then this is a Tommy Bahama sweater. It's cotton and cashmere. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren, bleh, Polo Ralph Lauren, 100% cotton. It's an all black, like, I guess it would be a sweater. It's like a little more lightweight, but long sleeve sweater. This is a Tommy Bahama polo, just like a plain black polo. I did my best to kind of look and make sure there weren't flaws on all these things, but again, I was going really fast. Um, this is a clean K-L-E-E-N velvet top. Um, I have heard of this brand before, but I don't really know how well it sells, but I just grabbed it because I saw it. And then the last thing in that bag is this sweater that's actually really cozy. What is this? Oh yeah, I remember grabbing this. The brand's not that exciting. It's Chelsea 28, which I think might be a Nordstrom or a Nordstrom brand. Yeah, Nordstrom brand. Um, the retail on it was 69 and it had, it's new with tags and it's super cozy and stretchy. Um, so I grabbed that just because it was new with tags. Cotton polyester, nylon, wool spandex. So um, I figured new with tags, if all else fails, I can just send it in to thread up and I'll probably get a couple bucks there. All right, on to bag number two. This I know is Tommy Bahama because I remember grabbing this one. Just a long sleeve Tommy Bahama sweater. This I wasn't sure about and it took up a lot of space, but it looked really cozy. So I was going to offer it to my husband if it doesn't sell well. It's Stanley, but it's like fuzzy inside. So really warm thermal size extra large, which is a good size for men's. This is a Lane Bryant. It's just like a little I never know what to call this. Do we call them cardigans? They're like the open front sweaters. Um, I just call them cardigans. If you have a better word for that, please let me know because for some reason it always stumps me. Um, let's see. I believe this is another Tommy Bahama. Yep, another Tommy Bahama. This one's like a quarter zip sweater. Let's see. Another Tommy Bahama. So a lot of these, if they're the same style, same size, I'm going to try and lot them up and instead of selling something for like 15 or 20, I might be able to sell like two or three in a lot for like 40 or 50. So that's what I'm hoping for. Um, this is actually for me. <laughs> these are just H&M maternity jeans. My pants don't fit very well at the moment, so I was hoping those would fit me. Um, another Tommy Bahama, this is just like a graphic tee. I wasn't sure about picking that one up, but... Again, if I lot everything up, it should be fine. Another Tommy Bahama long sleeve shirt. And the last thing, another Tommy Bahama shirt. It's just a short sleeve, almost like a performance feeling shirt. And then the last one, um, this bag was actually a lot more full, but I got my husband a Vans hoodie. Um, so I gave that to him already. So this is a sweater. What is this? Uh, so it says Sherpa Adventure Gear. And I believe, what is this made out of? It seems nice. Yeah, it's 100% merino wool. Um, and I want to say I looked this up and it sells for maybe around 30. So that's great. Never heard of that brand. Uh, another Tommy Bahama Polo. And then the last one is, surprise, surprise, more Tommy Bahama. It is a long sleeve quarter zip. And that is the last thing I got. So, so I'm actually pretty happy with everything I got. I was a little scared to do this haul because I don't remember, or I couldn't remember what I bought. And I know I was just kind of like throwing things into bags, but I think I got some pretty good stuff considering I spent what, like $21, 15 plus six. Yeah, $21 on everything I showed you in this video. So I'm actually really happy with everything I got and I should be able to make at least a couple hundred dollars off of everything once it's all listed. Um, I'm gonna have to go through and check comps on everything and really try to only list things that are gonna get me at least $20 or more. Um, anything else will be thread up or um, thrown in a garage sale or something like that. But at $21 for everything, I know I can make a pretty good profit on this haul and I had fun 
stuffing these bags full of stuff. So hopefully you like this video. I know I don't usually do hauls or more casual videos like this, but let me know if you like hauls, um, what sold videos, and maybe even thrift with me videos, because I want to do more fun casual videos like that, as well as all my kind of like how to and how to grow your business videos too. So let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos that are like this that are just a little bit more casual and let me know what your favorite thing I got was. I would love to hear if you've sold anything that I found or anything like that. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.